We've all come across posters attached to trees and telephone poles, displaying photographs of missing cats and dogs, accompanied by desperate pleas from their distraught owners who only wish for their beloved pets to return home. But today, we won't be sharing any sad stories of lost animals. Instead, we'll focus on the happier endings, stories of pets that were lost but eventually found their way back home. Number 8. OP the Horse Michelle Poole from San Antonio never gave up hope that one day she would see her horse OP again. OP was an American saddle horse that had been stolen from her father's pastures in 2003. Despite putting up photos of OP everywhere, including on a website called Netpos, owned by a not-for-profit organization called Stolen Horse International, Michelle heard and saw nothing for a decade. However, after 10 years, a Peeland woman named Deanna Bordelon, looking for a horse, stumbled across a Craigslist ad for one in the Dayton area. After doing some research, Deanna found the net post posting of Opie and realized that they looked like the same horse. She then contacted the website's owner, Debbie Metcalf of Stolen Horse International, who in turn contacted the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. The Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association joined the investigation into the stolen horse, which led them to the person who had listed it. However, that person was a mere recipient years later and believed that the horse had been found on the side of the road. She had spent time training it after it appeared to have suffered abuse when stolen. Number 7. Tiger the Cat In 2008, someone left the door open to Maggie Wells's New York home and her beloved three-year-old cat, Tiger, ran out. And that was the end of that, he never came home. Still, Maggie always had hope that he would turn back up. He was never found, or no information was provided to us about him. So much so that when she moved house, she asked the new owners to keep an eye out for him. He never showed his face there, but that's not the end of Tiger's story. That would be pretty mean of us if it were. Carol O'Connell, who worked with the Dutchess County SPCA, had watched a stray cat roaming around her neighborhood. With each year, the cat appeared to be losing condition, but she could never get quite close enough to catch him. Over time, she managed to gain the cat's trust until she was able to borrow a scanner and check for a microchip. It was then that she discovered Tiger was a much-loved and missed pet who had been missing for 11 years. That's over a decade. Maggie and Tiger were reunited after a vet check and Maggie was over the moon. She said she was confident he would return home and that she was always committed to having him back in her life. Number 6. Willow the Cat Abigail Smith, residing in Sarancester, Gloucestershire, welcomed a tiny six-week-old kitten named Willow into her home in 2001. Willow became an integral part of their family. However, Willow disappeared after four years, and Abigail and her family presumed that she had passed away. Thirteen years later, Abigail stumbled upon a video on Facebook that showed a cat falling into a nearby pond. She thought the cat looked strikingly similar to Willow. Upon closer inspection, Abigail realized that the cat in the video was indeed her beloved Willow, who was now 17 years old. Vets confirmed the cat's identity, and Maggie was reunited with the family she had left behind so many years ago. Willow appeared happy to be home and settled right back into the family routine. However, the reunion was short-lived, unfortunately. After just three days of being reunited, Willow had a seizure and passed away in her sleep. Despite the short time, the family was grateful to have had her back for those final few days so they could shower her with love and attention before she passed away. Number 5. Charlie the Husky Dog It's any pet owner's worst nightmare. You pop to the shops quickly, tie your dog up outside, then come back to the dog nowhere to be seen. For Jim and Carol Bully, that wasn't just a nightmare, it was reality. They had taken their 10-year-old Siberian Husky Cross, Charlie, for a walk and tied him up outside a store in Toronto. Two men and a woman arrived at the store, untied Charlie, and walked him to a parking lot. From there, they disappeared with the bully's beloved dog. Once the incident was reported to the police, surveillance footage showed photos of the three people taking Charlie, and these were released to the public. The next day, a woman walking near Woodbine Beach sold the dog by a post near two people. The woman, Sophia Cottrell, said she recognized Charlie and asked the people if he was their dog. They promptly left. By lunchtime, Charlie was back at home with his people. While the thieves were not found, Carol was so pleased to have Charlie home. 
She said no words could express how she feels and that she is thankful to all those who helped get him safely home. Number 4. Bentley the Golden Doodle You might want to grab a box of tissues for this one, or perhaps an onion to explain away those tears. This tale is a mix of heartbreak and warmth. Samantha Orr and her mother, Jennifer, were enjoying an off-road journey in the Colorado Rocky Mountains with Bentley, their one-year-old golden doodle, in tow. Everything seemed perfect and the family was having a blast. But in an instant, tragedy struck. Their jeep tumbled 600 feet down a mountain, ejecting Bentley in the process. Samantha's mother tragically died, and Samantha herself sustained injuries to her ribs and back. Bentley vanished into the wilderness of the Rocky Mountains for 19 days, and hopes of finding him were dwindling. However, Samantha refused to give up. She distributed flyers, and a kind-hearted individual named Joseph drove for hours to assist in the search. Miraculously, he spotted Bentley on top of a mountain and recorded the emotional reunion as he led Samantha to the spot. Bentley cautiously approached Samantha before collapsing into her embrace. Go boy, baby. God, it's mama. Though she lost her mother, reuniting with her dog brought a small measure of solace to Samantha's heart. Number 3. Curse of the Cat Do you remember your first ever pet? Most children do, for it's the first animal they grew up with. Claudia Arnold from Menemo, British Columbia, remembers hers too. Before Claudia was born, her family owned a large tomcat called Persa. Claudia immediately bonded with the cat, and they were inseparable through toddlerhood. But when Claudia was two, Persa went missing. She never stopped talking about him and would get quite sad, wishing he would come home. Three years passed, and Claudia still remembered her favorite cat. Then Claudia's mom, Kara, got a call from the Nanaimo SPCA to say that someone saw Kara's social media posts about the cat, spotted Persa, and brought him in. They videotaped Claudia being reunited with her cat, as Kara had chosen to keep it a secret. The pair had gone to the shelter, where one of the workers asked her whether she liked cats and if there was a specific color she liked. Claudia described how she used to have a calico cat. The shelter worker said, like this one, and gave her Persa. The reunion would bring tears to your eyes. Claudia gave the cat a big hug and thanked the shelter workers for finding her precious furry friend. Number 2. Mitzi the Jack Russell In 2019, Alan Witten from Essex took his Jack Russell Mitzi for a walk around Buckhurst Hill, something they did together often. However, during this walk, Mitzi was chased by a basset hound and never returned. Alan, his wife and children searched the area all day but couldn't find Mitzi. They then proceeded to put out flyers and asked around the area. Two days went by and Mitzi had still not returned home. However, something amazing happened. A dog walker who lived in a property backing onto the woods where Mitzi was walked noticed her own dog sniffing a foxhole. She phoned Alan, and he went to investigate, taking some of his dog's toys. When he squeaked them at the entrance to the hole, he heard a faint whimper. For the next two hours, passers-by and Alan dug out the foxhole to retrieve his pup in what was a tearful reunion. The dog was bewildered and dazed, but was otherwise fine, aside from a few ticks that needed to be removed. Alan had started to lose hope that Mitzi would ever be found, so to see man's best friend down a foxhole was the best thing he could have hoped for. Number 1. Duke the Rottweiler In April 2007, Joshua Edwards was devastated to discover that his two dogs had gone missing, including a Rottweiler puppy named Duke. Despite living in the Shenandoah area, Joshua searched the neighborhood extensively for any signs of his missing dogs. He even made regular visits to local animal shelters for three months, but was unable to locate Duke. Eight long years later, Joshua received a surprise call from the Tamiami Animal Hospital. A kind-hearted woman named Elena Cartea had found a limping and dirty dog wandering along a road and took him to the vet. Upon scanning the dog's microchip, they discovered that he was registered to Joshua and the dog turned out to be none other than Duke. Joshua was overjoyed to hear the news and immediately reunited with his beloved pet. Duke, who was now nine years old, recognized Joshua right away and showed his excitement by licking his owner and rolling over for a belly rub. Duke returned to Joshua's family, which included his wife, two sons, and three other dogs, one of which was named Duke Jr. in memory of Duke. 
We all love to hear heartwarming stories, don't we? This list showcases some amazing examples of people being reunited with their long-lost pets. After you finish wiping your tears, why not share your own story? Have you ever experienced a time when your pet went missing and then returned? How long were they gone, and how did you manage to find them? The main lesson to learn from this list is to always microchip your pets. Also, don't forget to check out our other cool stuff that is now appearing on your screen. See you next time.